Hello friends and welcome to yet another episode of Economic Sutra. In this episode we are going to explore the modernization of the railways that is happening. Now of course all of you know that the railways was largely built out during the British rule in the 19th and early 20th century and much of the network we have was inherited from the pre-independence expansion. After ex the independence there was a fair amount of uh, changes that happened. Uh, much of the track, for example, was put onto one, one uh, broad gauge uh, track. Uh, they saw there was a replacement of the old steam engines with the diesel and then elec uh, the electrical trains. Um, there was um, air conditioning that was introduced uh, into the uh, coaches and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, a very large part of our um, system, so to speak, continue to belong to the pre-independence period. Whether it's the control rooms, uh, the signaling systems, even the designs of the coaches are surprisingly similar. I mean, yes, air conditioning was introduced, but if you went back and looked at the coaches from the 1930s and 40s, the broad design is still the same, till now. So what we will do in this episode is to look at how this entire back end of the system is being changed, the coach designs are being changed, the engine designs are being changed, the signaling systems are being changed, the control towers and control rooms are being uh, upgraded and modernized and of course the stations which some of you may have already noticed have already begun to be upgraded. For the very first time since independence we are seeing a rethinking of the way Indian railway stations can be. So. Friends, let's move forward and have a look at some of these uh, things. So friends, we are going to now speak to DRM Delhi, Mr. Dimpi Garg, about how in his 32 year career in the railways, he has seen changes happening, particularly relating to uh, upgradation uh, of technology and of course the entire railway experience. So welcome to the show Thank Mr. You. Garg. Give us a sense of how, particularly in the very recent years, how our entire thinking about uh, the railways has changed. See railways has gone in for a massive change in terms of technology. Whether we talk about the rolling stock, if we talk about the track, we talk about the, uh, the signaling systems. Every place we see a lot of technological advancements taking place. If I were to talk about the rolling stock, we used to have uh, ICF design coaches, integral coach factory design coaches. They were very old design, about a, uh, maybe 50 years old design. And we had not gone for any upgradation of this uh, design. So recently we have gone in for a massive induction of uh, recent technology, this is the LHB coaches, the technology for which was imported from Germany. So these, are, these uh, coaches are quite safe and they are modern coaches. The riding comfort is much higher. In what these. sense specifically are they modern? See, they have a much better riding quality. The, the bogey, the suspension systems are much advanced. And so if you travel on those coaches, you would not feel those jerks uh, that you used to feel on the old design coaches. The safety wise also, they are very safe coaches. Uh, if God forbid uh, some, something untoward was to happen, you will not find that uh, people getting injured or deaths taking place. The coaches work as an integral part of the entire train consist and so they are much more stable. And that is why you normally find that they are not involved in accidents and you, in, even in case an untoward incident happens, you generally find people are safe without any injuries also. And what about the signaling systems, control rooms and that kind of thing? How were they used to be done and how are they being done now? See, initially we had everything which was manual. Even when a train was passing, you had to manually record the train number, the train passing time, and you had to take a lot of data which was manual. Till how recently was that? Uh, that was about uh, maybe 10, 15 years, till 10 to 15 years ago. But in the last 10, 15 years, uh, we have gone in for a massive induction of technology. Now we have data loggers which record the passing of the trains. We have the computer applications running which norm immediately take the time when the train is leaving a station and entering a station. So it's become almost like everything is being captured automatically. The signaling systems are being controlled through a single panel wherein a, a person sitting in an air-conditioned room operates the entire signaling of a station. 
I remember till not so long ago, you had to have a, literally have a paper where you'd keep putting the marks along the line yes. to show up and down. Yes. We used to have the, those we call, used to call the control charts. Uh, there you had to mark with a, paper, uh, a scale and a pencil as to what the path that the train has taken. Today that's all computerized. The moment you punch in the times, everything is plotted automatically. So the entire system of uh, train operations has gone for a massive change. And uh, that has resulted in a lot of efficiency also. And uh, we are able to analyze things much better and take corrective action wherever required. And what about the stations? How, how do you think about the station experience now? Stations also have got a lot of input in the recent years, especially in the last, I say, would say five to ten years. Uh, we have gone in for soft improvements. We have gone in for uh, the hard improvements in the sense of providing better facilities and amenities to this, at the station. We have got air-conditioned waiting rooms where a lot of facilities are existing today. We have some snacks counters available there, some magazines available there, some infotainment running around. We have executive lounges at the stations now where you get the best of the facilities that you would get at any five-star place or maybe at an airport, which were non-existent before. A lot of stress has been there on the cleanliness. So um, now if you go to any of the major stations, you'll find at any point of the time, the stations are clean. There used to be an Indian railway station smell, which <laughs> I remember, which uh, at least I can say in uh, New Delhi station has now thankfully been gotten rid of. Yes. We have done a lot of effort in that direction and we have tried to give our passengers, our customers a better feel of when they come to the station. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Garg. And what we will now do is to visit one of the workshops where you will be able to see for yourself some of the changes in the technology, particularly in the bogies and suspension systems and other changes, technological changes that have been done to the carriages and engines. See you then. Hello friends, I'm at Shakur Basti at the inspection and maintenance bay of the Indian Railways and we will see how these new technologies, new designs are being incorporated into the machines themselves. So what we are going to do is to go in and have a look. Come. So friends, I'm here where the actual maintenance happens of the new Vande Bharat carriage. This is a carriage which has got lots of new features, uh, which is includes, of course, the fact that all of these uh, carriages uh, have a motor, or at least every alternative one. And that means that there is much more smooth uh, pickup and slowing down that can happen instead of just the entire power come from, coming from the engine in front. Uh, this uh, uh, train has the capacity of generating 10,000 horsepower and it can accelerate from 0 to 100 in just 50 seconds and has a top speed of 160 uh, kilometers per hour. But it has some extraordinary new features, all of it indigenously developed. So I'm going to talk to one of the maintenance uh, experts here who works in this. Mere saath Gaurav ji hai, jinka maintenance karte hai. To Gaurav ji, aap iska maintenance karte hai, to aap samjhaiye ki ye jo bogi hai, jab alam iska suspension, wheel, tiyadi iske is carriage ka, इसमें इसकी क्या खासियत है और पहले जो हुआ करता था उससे ये अलग कैसे है? ये ICF की integrated fabricated blockless bogie है। इसके अंदर में हमारी जो brake disc है वो wheel mounted है। हमारे brake calipers wheel mounted हैं, जो कि पहले गाड़ियों में axle mounted हुआ करते थे। इसमें हमारी traction motors हैं, वो fully suspended हैं, जिससे हमारा oxidation weight जो है, वो bogie पे axle पे कम रहता है, जिससे हमारी bogie ज़्यादा फ्री होके और ज़्यादा अच्छी तरह मूव कर सक कर पाती हैं। तो पहले जो झटका लगता रहता था वो नहीं होता है अब। हाँ, इसमें हमारे सस्पेंशन के लिए प्राइमरी सस्पें सेकेंडरी सस्पेंशन हमारे एयर स्प्रिंग दिया हुआ है, जो कि हमारे और ऑक्सीडेशन को काफी कम कर देता है। इसमें हमारे एक बोगी के अंदर में जो गाड़ी के ऑक्सीडेशन को बहुत ही बेटर बना देते हैं राइड में और कंफर्ट बहुत ही कंफर्टेबल बना देते हैं हर आ, दूसरे कैरेज में इसमें एक मोटर भी है हां जी तो ये मोटर कहां होगा ये हमारी ट्रैक्शन मोटर को एमसी कोच ये ही है हमारे ये हमारी ट्रैक्शन मोटर्स हैं नीचे की साइड में एक बोगी में हमारी दो ट्रैक्शन मोटर्स हैं हमारे एक 16 पावर कार के एक uh, T18 के एक रैक में हमारे आठ मोटर कोचिंग हैं जिसकी वजह से हमारा 
गाड़ी का एक्सीलरेशन और डी एक्सीन बहुत फास्ट रहता है तो पहले जो होता था सामने इंजिन है वो पूरा ट्रेन खींच रहा है ऐसा नहीं है नहीं ऐसा पूरे ट्रेन में एक्सलेशन डी एक्सलेशन एक साथ एक साथ होता है इसके अंदर हमने हमारा जो इलेक्ट्रोपेनोमेटिक ब्रेक का इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया उससे हमारी जो ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम है वो काफ़ी इम्प्रोवाइज़ हुआ है इससे हमारा ब्रेक डिस्टेंस काफ़ी इम्प्रोवाइज़ हुआ है ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम से जो पहले हमारी लोकोमोटिव में ब्रेकिंग लगती थी तो उसमें ब्रेक डिस्टेंस हमारा काफ़ी ज़्यादा रहता था आखिरी तक ब्रेकिंग पहुँचते पहुँचते हमारे व्हील्स में भी बहुत प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट होती थी जो कि इस ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम से काफ़ी इम्प्रोवाइज़ हुई है so friends i hope you get a sense of how the under, underneath of a train has been fundamentally reengineered and by the way all of this is indigenous we are doing it here in india designing it putting it together almost all the bits and pieces with a few exceptions are made in india one of the things that has been dramatically improved in recent years has been the signaling and control system and all of this used to be done manually to just a few years ago but it has all become electronic uh, and we will go to prayagraj where a huge control room has been established for the eastern freight corridor where you will see that uh, much of this is being done in control panels one of the largest uh, in the world in fact has been built there so that uh, we can live take care of how trains are moving across that entire area so let us go to prayagraj और पूरी ट्रेने हम लोग यहाँ से कंट्रोल करते हैं बेसिकली ये नर्व सेंटर है डी एफ सी का ट्रेन चलाने के इस टोटल वीडियो वॉल की जो लंबाई आप लोग जो देख रहे हैं वो करीब करीब 90 मीटर के आसपास है और हर एक ट्रेन का मोमेंट लाइव हम इसके ऊपर आपको दिखा सकते हैं अब कैसे ट्रेन मॉनिटर होता है कैसे ट्रेन चलता है हमारे स्टाफ कैसे ट्रेन को मॉनिटर करता है मैं आपको अभी लाइव एक्सप्लेन करता ये।, ये जो रो है ये हमारे जो कंट्रोलर है वो स्टेशन मास्टरों से बात करते हैं का उनसे इन्फॉर्मेशन लेते हैं इन्फॉर्मेशन लेने के बाद में ट्रेन कैसे चलाना है कौन सी ट्रेन कौन से लाइन पे लेनी है कैसे चलाना है वो डिसाइड करते हैं इसके बाद जो आगे वाली जो लाइन है ये सुपरवाइजर कंट्रोल है कैसे ट्रेन का ओवरऑल मूवमेंट होना है उसके बारे में डिसाइड करते हैं कब ट्रेन चलाना है कब ट्रेन मेंटेनेंस के लिए ब्लॉक लेना है ये सब प्लानिंग यहाँ होती है हम अब ओ के बारे में जब बात करते हैं तो अगर आप देखते हैं कि पूरे हमारे खुर्जा से लेके भावपुर तक हर एक स्टेशन में कितनी कितनी लाइनें हैं कैसे कैसे लाइनें हैं सब ड्रा की भी है जो ग्रीन वाला है इसका मतलब ट्रेन वहाँ से फुल स्पीड से जा सकती है जो येलो वाला है उसमें कम कम स्पीड से जाएगी इसका मतलब है जहाँ पर ये लाल लाइन है ओरिजेंटल इसका मतलब वो लाल क्रॉसिंग खुला हुआ है वहाँ पर ट्रेन को देख के जाना है जो येल्लो है इसका मतलब वहाँ पर लेवल क्रॉसिंग बंद है ट्रेन जा सकती है ये हमारा इलेक्ट्रिकल डायग्राम है कहाँ कहाँ से बिजली आती है कैसे कैसे आती है न्यू भापुर से लेके न्यू खुर्जा तक का पूरा का पूरा जो इलेक्ट्रिकल हमारे जो इंस्टॉलेशन है उनका डिटेल है जो ग्रीन आपको जो दिखाई दे रहा है इसका मतलब है कि वहाँ पर हमारी लाइन चार्ज है करंट अवेलेबल है ट्रेन चला सकते हैं जो रेड वाला है इसका मतलब वहाँ पर करंट नहीं है हो सकता है वहाँ कुछ मेंटेनेंस की एक्टिविटी चला हुआ यहाँ पर जो स्टाफ बैठा हुआ है ये हमारे फील्ड स्टाफ के टच में रहता है जहाँ जहाँ भी कोई ट्रिपिंग होता है उसके बारे में उनसे बताता है और मेंटेनेंस के लिए इंस्ट्रक्शन देता है यहीं से इंस्ट्रक्शन जाता है जो भी ओ में खराबी होता है अगर कोई भी ट्रबल आ जाता है तो अपने यहाँ पर ऑटोमेटिकली यहाँ पर रेड सिग्नल आ जाएगा तो हम अपने जो स्टाफ उसको बताएंगे कि वहाँ पर ये इशू उसको जाकर देख क्या हो इसको बोलते हैं हम स्काडा सिस्टम तो इस ओ के ट्रेन ऑपरेशन भी नहीं बल्कि ट्रैक जो ट्रेन का जो सिस्टम जो मेंटेन करने का है हमारा ट्रैक का सिग्नल का या इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्विपमेंट का वो सारा का सारा यहीं से मॉनिटर होता है और यहीं से इंस्ट्रक्शन जाएगा सबके पास में डीएफसी एक स्पेशल प्रोजेक्ट है जो भारत सरकार ने स्टार्ट किया है इसका पर्पज है कि इसके ऊपर केवल घुस ट्रेन चलेगी अभी हमारे यहाँ पर रेलवे सिस्टम हो कर सेम ट्रैक के ऊपर हम लोग घुस ट्रेन भी चलाते हैं और पैसेंजर ट्रेन भी चलाते हैं 
उससे होता क्या है कि पैसेंजर ट्रेन को प्रायोरिटी देने के के, के चक्कर में हम लोग गुड्स ट्रेन का जो जो स्पीड है वो काफ़ी कम हो जाता है अगर हम एवरेज स्पीड की बात करें करीब करीब 25 किलोमीटर पर आवर गुड्स ट्रेन की स्पीड आती है रेलवे सिस्टम में हम लोगों ने जो डिज़ाइन किया है सौ किलोमीटर के हिसाब से डिज़ाइन किया गया और अभी भी जो हमारी जो ट्रेनें चल रही है इसके ऊपर नाइन्टी नाइन्टी किलोमीटर के हिसाब से सारी ट्रेनें चल रही है दूसरा ये कि जो हमारे जो स्टेशन हैं यहाँ पर हम लोगों ने लंबे लंबे स्टेशन रखे हुए हैं तीस से चालीस किलोमीटर का डिस्टेंस रखा हुआ है ताकि ट्रेन जल्दी जाए सिमिलरली अगर हम बात करें सिग्नल की हमने हर एक दो किलोमीटर के बाद में सिग्नल रखा हुआ है जबकि रेलवे में करीब करीब एक किलोमीटर के बाद में ताकि ट्रेन स्मूथली चलती रहे हमारा पर्पज़ ये है कि जब ये डी बन जाएगा तो हम टाइम टेबल के हिसाब से ट्रेन चलाएंगे फास्टर चलाएंगे इकोनॉमिक रेट इकोनॉमी के हिसाब से चलेंगे और जो ये पूरा जो सेंटर है पूरा इंडियन सिस्टम के हिसाब से बनाया हुआ है डिजिटल इंडिया का एक, एक ये पार्ट है ये एक बदलते हुए भारतीय रेल का एक स्वरूप है और जो जो हम आगे बढ़ेंगे वही और आगे बढ़ेंगे सो फ्रेंड्स आई एम इन साइड दाइवर्स कैबिन ऑफ दंदे भारत एंड आई हैव ये प्रिया सुधीर हु इज गोइंग टू शो मी हाउ Uh, this whole thing works in particular the new innovations that have been made for in order to allow the driver to know what's happening inside the train uh, in individual carriages so sudeep can you show us how this panel works and what the experience of the driver is sure so this is basically the driver's cab as you can see this is the main uh, driver display unit where he can see everything that is happening in any of the coaches where 16 coaches are basically units of four coaches each so here you have basic units 1 2 3 4 all the information from all the coaches have been consulted has been consolidated here anything happens he can see here so this is our master control handle forward it is basically traction and reverse it is basically braking so there are no separate handles drivers can focus solely on driving they don't have to worry about anything else one important feature that you have here is this one this is your cctv cameras we have six cameras in each coach all video feeds are synced here drivers can see any coach in case of any exigency or if they want to see anything else they can see here any coach they can select we have the emergency talk back units in the coaches drivers can receive the call here listen to the emergency and take the decision uh, whatever they want to do so the old thing that you know ट्रेन में कहीं भी किसी ने चेन खींच दिया एंड यू हैव टू द होल सिस्टम डाउन दैट इज नो लॉन्गर दैट इज नो लॉन्गर देयर या दैट्स क्वाइट एन इनोवेशन फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु हैव यूज्ड द ट्रेन्स ओवर द इयर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच धीर यू सॉ हाउ इट लुक्स इन द ड्राइवर सीट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेल यू समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एवरी वंदे भारत ट्रेन इज इक्विप्ड इन सच अ वे that all the information about the strain all the parameters of the strain are actually being captured in uh, this uh, station and so in each uh, carriage you actually have a sort of a monitoring center and i've got ayeshwari here who is going to actually tell us about how this part of the uh, vande bharat carriage works from the uh, driver cabin we we are from the with the train control management system we are providing the control uh, to the, for the operation of the train every coach has got two of the computers which is controlling that particular coach one is the main computer and another one is the redundant computer now the specialty with the vande bharat train is that it is equipped with the remlot remote location monitoring system with which we are monitoring all the parameters of the running of the train its location and its critical parameters just sitting over inside the depot that we are doing not only that this is the pantry can you show us how the pantry yeah. works here for the comfort of the passengers we have provided the pantry in each and every coach likewise i have just opened one of the hot cases here we keep the food for the uh, keeping it warm so that passengers can have a good food in a warm condition another one is a deep freezer for the ice creams i hope uh, children like and to provide the chilled water we have got a bottle coolers also this is a really modern train um it's uh, obviously internally uh, the communications and electronics has been set up but also communicating through to the station to the control rooms and so on and so forth so there is almost seamless flow of information that is possible given these new trains so let's go and have a look in prayagraj in one of the stations how these parameters are being monitored gone are the days when we were in the era of mechanical signaling and we found end cables at the end of stations with levers and frames governing train movement signaling and train operations had a 
करंटली वी आर एट प्रयागराज चौकी स्टेशन दिस इज अ बिग यार्ड केटरिंग ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम फोर डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन and in future we will be having connection with dedicated freight corporation also i am currently at deputy ss room where we have two deputy ss working one at log and one at panel this is basically what we called as vdu where all the operations regarding electronic interlocking are being done and here are station master who is having communication with the divisional control room with the gates in the section with uh, the chief yard master and all those communicating bodies sit and plan the movement as per the direction received from the control room all the all the directions which all the rules which he has to set up are available with a click of mouse in his hands whichever route we have to select he has to give a command and based upon that command the train upon which the line upon which a particular train has to be received is decided and that it is received you can see uh, some red lines and some yellow lines here these red line indicate a train which is standing on the berthing track the yellow line indicate that this is the route which we have selected for reception of a particular train let me show you this thing uh this is also video this is called as hot standby in case of any failure automatically the system takes over from working unit to the hot standby and in that case this unit then becomes the working unit so this is all about the video room dpss room now let me take you to the tour of electronic interlocking room which is down stairs in this very building Two, one So let me show you the electronic interlocking room. This is not just a room; it's a strong symbol of modernization. So let's move inside. So he is Mr. Himanshu Chaturvedi, our officer in charge of this entire EI establishment. So let me introduce what we called as EI Rakes. This is our EI Rake. This is basically the brain of entire EI installation. Whatever operations those are being planned through visual display unit. whatever commands that are being given they are basically processed here so this is the brain of entire interlocking electronic interlocking from these rakes the communication goes to what we called as relay rake relay rake is something which has a communication with outside world there are many equipments many installations which are uh, fixed in our yard like point machines track circuit signals so basically commands from this relay rake uh, are being transmitted to the outside world to the yard from relay rake through this cable termination rake which acts as a media and now let me show you one of the most important part of entire this entire establishment this is what we called as data logger or event logger this equipment basically houses the record of each and everything it houses log of whatever activities what we have done so that in case of there is any unusual there is any failure or an unfortunate incident unfortunate accident an analysis can be done and we can find out whether the, uh, where the fault was exactly we have successfully switched over from the uh, era of mechanical interlocking mechanical signaling and here is all new to all together new electronic interlocking let's welcome indian railways and let's welcome our nation to this new world of modernization now ashwara is going to show us how these new coaches are different from the old ones well the best place to start of course is with the toilet so over to you ashwara as you can see that this train is equipped with one of its kind and the first over ir the digram friendly toilet yeah here you can see that a passenger can walk in the toilet with his wheelchair directly coming over here and connecting with this one more fee addition feature that we can see which usually we see in the aircraft is a nursing station if a lady is traveling alone and is having a is having a child then she can easily use the washroom this is one of the most prominent features that we have provided in this train for the passengers now let's go inside and have a look so this is an automatic door and we can we can head in the seats are modular this uh, the color scheme is uh, at par with the world standards the seats are having the sliding mechanism for the better comfort of the passengers it slides 
uh, forward and the backwards. The ceiling as you can see is uh, absolutely new. The air vents are throughout the coaches providing seamless air comfort uh, with the air conditioning and all. For the safety of passenger, one more feature is there is the alarm push back button. Once passenger is in discomfort or is having any of the issues, he can press this. Immediately the loco pilot of the train gets an alarm that one of the passenger in that particular coach is in discomfort he, and that passenger can be attended over. These are some of the modern features of this Vande Bharat Express which make it unique over a year. The doors which you can see provided in this coach are fully automatic. There is a proximity sensor provided over here. Once a passenger is in the proximity of this sensor, the door opens automatically. There are four passenger information screens where the important information regarding the complaints, regarding the issues if any for the passengers and another information is being shared on this particular screens. One more interesting feature that is being provided as is being done over the world trains is the in, in coach display which provides you the coach number and the speed of the train also. One more interesting feature which is being provided inside this train is the passenger emergency communication unit. This is being used if the passenger is in discomfort or is having any of the emergency. What he has to do is just a simple task. He just has to push this button over, push to talk button. Immediately the ring goes over in the driver cabin. Once it is being attended, it will glow green. Which is the next station for this train? Next station will be Kanpur. Yeah. So you have seen that I have asked which is the next station and I have got the information that next station is Kanpur from this. So friends, I am now in the executive coach of the Vande Bharat and uh, as you can see there are very comfortable seats, uh, not dissimilar to the business class seats of an aircraft, but there are some very interesting additional features. For example, uh, every one of these uh, seats has got its own charging station and if you are travelling with friends, you can turn these right around so that you can sit with your family and friends and talk to them. So you can see the amazing amount of changes that have happened in the Vande Bharat Express but now there are other trains as well that have been upgraded in new and interesting ways. One of them happens to be the Vista Dome trains that are being run on the more scenic routes. So let's go and have a look at how these uh, trains with their um, glass domes allowing you to look outside and look at the scenery outside are being used in places for example Shimla. This train is uh, very good, the uh, overall infrastructure of this train, facilities are very good. The scenic beauty you can enjoy with this Vista Dome uh, experience or Vista Dome structure. Uh, even the Simla road is aside with you always and uh, like the natural beauty you can enjoy inside as well as outside. You will feel the cool breeze going around you whenever you will start your journey. Staff member is कम्युनिकेशन अच्छा रहता है सब जानकारी मिल जाती है और ये कोच का एक्सपीरियंस बताए तो एक्सपीरियंस अनबिलीवेबल एकदम कहे तो ऑसम है पहले क्या होता था कि सिंपली हम नीचे का देख पाते थे अभी ऊपर का देखने की वजह से जो पेड़ है ये पाइन ट्रीज और ये सब देख सकते हैं ऐसा लगता है कि खुले आसमान में हम बैठे हैं तो उससे एक अलग ही फीलिंग्स आती है फीलिंगो में शब्दों में नहीं कह सकता क्योंकि हम जो कार में चलते हैं तो बहुत हमें डर लगता है हिल पे जब आते हैं लेकिन इस ट्रेन में हमें डर नहीं लग रहा और पूरा एंजॉय है किधर भी देखें कोई डर की बात नहीं कालका शिमला टॉय ट्रेन से जा रहे हैं ये विस्टा डम कोच है और ये बहुत ही अच्छा है हमारे सफर का सबसे अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस है यहां से हम लोग बाजू तो देख ही सकते हैं पर ऊपर का भी सिनारी देख सकते हैं सो इट्स वेरी गुड सो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू एंजॉयड दिस एपिसोड ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सूत्र I hope you could see how the railways is really striving to upgrade itself and modernize itself not merely in terms of what you as a passenger will see face to face i.e. the seats or perhaps the stations but also the engineering that goes behind it the control rooms the uh, signaling systems the ways the wheels and the bogies and the brakes are all uh, arranged and the 
uh, extraordinary indigenization effort that is also going uh, behind all of this. With that comes to the end of this episode of Economic Sutra. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Economic Sutra on Sansa TV. Thank you.